Hi, welcome to a new weekly vlog. I'm starting this on Friday afternoon because we're gonna be leaving soon to head off to Aberfoyle because we're going to a wedding tomorrow and we're staying over tonight as well. So yeah, I thought I would start a little bit early so I can also get the beginning of our trip as well. On the way there, we're gonna stop in Stirling and go for dinner at a restaurant called The River House. And we went there together a couple of years ago or maybe like five years ago now when we went away for a weekend for my birthday. So yeah, that'll be nice. And then we'll head to our little B&B and check in there. Hello, Saturday morning now. I didn't film anything yesterday when we were in Stirling for dinner. It was really, really nice though. And then we arrived at our B&B at about half past eight and then we just watched TV. I've been down for breakfast this morning. Blair's now nipped out to the shop to go and buy a paper. I've just had a quick shower and now I'm gonna sit in bed and relax, read new Slumming World magazine and chill out for like another hour. And then I'll start getting ready um, just about 11 o'clock. I'll give you a little tour of the room. I'm doing this a lazy way. I'm just gonna sit in bed <laughs> and show you. So we've got a TV and like a little tea and coffee station over there. It's a king size bed, so it's a huge bed. Two little seats, wardrobe, bathroom is in there. And then, yeah, that's it. We've got a view of the back garden. You can see some bunny rabbits. There we go. Little bunnies. So yeah, we're staying in a place called Aberfoyle and the place we're going for the wedding today is like about 10 minutes from the hotel and it's on the edge of a loch so I think it's going to be really really beautiful so I'll take lots of footage and stuff around there. I don't think I'll film much of the actual wedding obviously but quite a few like kids and stuff there so I don't think I'll film much of people or anything but I'll get you as many snippets of the place and the views and stuff as possible. <laughs> So we're back at the flat now. The wedding yesterday was really, really good. I had such a nice time. Like the venue was just beautiful, as you will have seen in the clips. It was on the edge of a loch and like the views were just amazing. Um, and yeah, the bride and groom had a really good day. It was really nice um, getting to see them get married and speak to people we haven't seen in a while. It was good fun. So I had a nice time, drank quite a bit. I didn't feel really hungover this morning, but when we were in the car journey coming back, I was like, my head's starting to hurt now. I feel like I need some sort of greasy food. We left the B&B at like 11, that's when we went to check out, so we just left um, and drove back and got home here like half 12. And since then I've just pretty much been sitting watching TV, watch the rest of the Hollyoaks on the bus. Uh, I don't think I've ever mentioned on my vlogs before that I watch Hollyoaks, but uh, yeah, me and Blair enjoy watching Hollyoaks. Warren Fox is back, it's like old times. I've unpacked everything. I've bought stuff to make for dinner tonight, which will not take very long. I'm going to do like a chicken, like char grilled chicken thing with some potatoes and veg. And I'll have my shower later on tonight because my hair is an absolute mess. It's so crispy as well because I had loads of hairspray on it yesterday. I might put like a face mask on later tonight as well. Maybe some nose strips. I bought those Biore or Bior um, nose strips the other week which I hadn't used since I was a teenager. And uh, me and Blair both sat with our little nose trips on. Come one of those couples that wears face masks together. Uh, so I might do that again this afternoon because I feel like my skin needs a bit of a detox. But yeah, it's been a nice weekend. Quite tiring, but it was good fun. And so that's two out of three weddings done this summer. I've got a week off next weekend and then the last wedding is the weekend after that. And then 
no more summer plans, no more days off until our holiday in September. That is a bit depressing, but it'll be worth it when it comes to September. Hey, so it's Tuesday afternoon now. I didn't film anything yesterday. It's actually like quarter past four and I'm already home because I had a meeting out in like the west of Edinburgh and I finished at like half three, but I decided that rather than getting a taxi back into town, I would just get the taxi home and then I can make up any extra hours like the rest of the week because um, yeah, it's like, didn't make sense to go back into town and do like an hour of work. I really don't feel well either. I've had a sore head pretty much since last night. My throat has been really sore since I came home from the wedding on Sunday. Um, so I, yeah, I don't know, I feel like I'm like coming down with a cold or something. Yeah, I really, really don't feel very well. So I'm glad I'm home early. I think I, am why is it so dark? We're supposed to be going to do like a food shop, but I haven't written a shopping list yet and I really don't want to go out. So I might just put jammies on and have a lie down and a little nap for like 45 minutes until Blair gets home and then see what he thinks about maybe either ordering a takeaway, which I know I shouldn't do because I'm doing Slimming World again, but the thought of having to go out to buy food and then come back and make dinner. No, I don't want to do that. Did I tell you about how many midgy bites I have on me? I didn't really notice them on the Sunday, but yesterday loads of them came up and actually I did like a, a full body count yesterday and I found 41 midgy bites on me. 41. There's like five alone on each foot. More of them just seem to be popping up like through the day. So I noticed one today at work has come up on my neck and I don't know if you'll be able to see. There's like three have popped off my arm since last night. How can they still be appearing when it was Saturday that I was outside? Are they in me? Were the bites just there and it's only now that they're kind of erupting? Oh, it's so itchy everywhere. A temptation, you're giving me feelings. A temptation, giving me feelings. Added a little time lapse get ready with me this morning because I realized that I haven't really filmed very much this week. If you can't tell by my voice, I've still I mentioned on Tuesday that I had a bit of a sore head and a sore throat. It's now just kind of turned into a summer cold, so my throat isn't really sore anymore, but I've got like a really annoying phlegmy cough, which is nice, and like a runny nose and stuff. So um yeah, I've just not really been feeling very well. And and when I talk, I sound like this. Didn't really think there was much point in me filming. It's Friday now, and tonight I'm gonna to go out for dinner with some of my blogger friends. I always call them my blogger friends, but they're like, they're friends, <laughs> but we met through blogging like a couple of years ago. Um, so we're gonna to go to Badger & Co, which is a nice new place in Edinburgh. I've been to it once before, and it was really good. So I'm looking forward to that. Before that, one of the guys at work is leaving, so we're gonna go out for some drinks um, just near the office. <coughs> I'll just leave that in so you've got an idea of what my week has been like. <laughs> <laughs> 